morning guys, Teacher A here and welcome to Guru Pinay sa America. So for today, ang lesson natin ay geometric sequence. Ano bang geometric sequence? So set siya ng numbers wherein yung magkakasunod na numbers kapag dinivide natin, meron tayong tinatawag na common ratio. So kapag dinivide natin sila, yung quotient ay pare-pareho. Halimbawa, 2, 6, 18, etc etc so we have 6 divided by 2 that's 3 18 divided by 6 that's 3 so kung papasin nyo parehong 3 itong 3 na to ang tinatawag natin common ratio so kung kukunin natin yung next number dito 18 times 3 that will give us 54 and then kung kukunin pa ulit natin yung susunod so pag divide yun 3 Kapag kukunin pa natin yung panglima, i-multiply natin yung 54 by 3 para makuha yung next na number which is so 54 times 3, we have 12 carry 1 15 16 162. Okay? So yan ang ating geometric sequence. Now, paano naman kung hinahanap natin halimbawa, we have here five numbers na at ayaw nating mag-solve nang tuloy-tuloy, pero gusto nating mahanap yung Eighth number. Paano natin kukunin yung pangwalong number dito sa sequence na to? So in that case, gagamit tayo ng formula. Which is, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Wherein, yung a sub n natin, yung last number, a sub 1, yung first number, R is our common ratio. N, yun yung hinahanap natin pang ilang term. And then, minus 1. So, katulad na sinabi ko, paano kung hinahanap natin yung 8th term na ayaw natin kunin yung pang 6th, pang 7th para makuha yung pang 8th. So, gagamitin natin tong formula na to. First step, i-identify natin yung mga values na nandito sa formula. So, yung N natin, ay pang walong term. So, 8. Yung a sub 1 natin, yung first term sa ating sequence ay 2. And then, yung r natin, yung common ratio is 3. Okay? So, yun na first step. Second step, isulat natin yung formula. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. And then, third step, I-plug in natin yung mga values. So, yung a sub n, that's a sub 8, is equal to, ang a sub 1 natin ay 2, times, ang r natin ay 3, and then raise 2, ang n natin ay 8, then minus 1, there. And then, syempre, sa pagsusolve, yung nasa log muna ng parenthesis, yung kanyang exponent muna. So, we have here, a sub 8 is equal to, copy hindi si 2, times 3, 8 minus 1 is 7. There. So, bago natin i-multiply, exponent muna, i-evaluate natin ang 3 to the 7th. So, 2 times ang 3 to the 7th, ibig sabihin, i-multiply ang 3 sa sarili niya ng 7 times. That will give us 2,187. And then, finalizer natin, si a sub 8, o yung pangwalong term dito ay 2 times 2,187. That will give us 4,374. Okay? So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Just follow the formula, which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Okay? So, let's have second example. So, example 2 natin, iba naman yung case dito. Wherein, we have to identify the missing term. So, kung mapapansin nyo, mga nasa gitna, nasa huli, yung nawawala. So, paano natin hahanapin yung mga nawawalang terms? So, first step, kailangan makuha natin yung common ratio. Paano natin kukunin yung common ratio? Mag-check tayo ng dalawang magkasunod. And then, i-divide natin. Halimbawa, si third, negative 32 at saka si 16. So, 16 divided by negative 32. 
So that will give us positive divided by negative I negative. C16 chaka C32 para ma simplify both can be divided by 16. So 16 divided by 16 I1 over 32 divided by 16 I2. So therefore ang common ratio dito I negative one half. So anong gagawin natin sa negative one half? At saka doon sa number na sumunod sa nawawala. So, para makuha yun, ay yeah, i-divide natin sila. Bakit? Kasi, yung nawawala times the common ratio, which is negative 1 half, is negative 32. Negative 32 times negative 1 half, so this is negative 1 half, is positive 16. Positive 16 times negative 8 i negative i sorry negative negative one half times 16 i negative 8 so since pabaliktad naman ang ginagawa natin kasi nawawala yung una pabaliktad din yung op yung operation which means opposite so we have si negative 32 i d divide natin by negative one half paano magdivide ng whole number tsaka ng fraction so, kopyahin si 32, negative, times reciprocal nito. Ibig sabihin, if you flip natin yung negative 1 half, magiging 2 over 1 or simply 2, negative 2. So, negative 32 times negative 2, that will give us 64. So, yung nawawala rito ay 64. Okay? Yan na lang kasimple. Next, let's have number 2. Again, ang first step natin ay para makuha natin yung nawawala, kunin natin yung common ratio. 150, 25. Ano ba yung number na minumultiply? So, 100 para makuha 50. Or 50 para makuha 25. So, para makuha yun, do the opposite. I divide 50 divided by 100. That will give us, again, si 50 tsaka si 100. If you simplify natin, can be divided by 50. 50 by 50 ay 1. 100 divided by 50 ay 2. So, therefore, ang common ratio ay positive 1 half. And then, 50 times 1 half, or kalahati ni 50 ay 25. So, 25 times 1 half, makukuha natin yung missing. So, so natin. 25 times 1 half. Isang whole number, isang fraction, lagyan natin ng over 1 yung whole number natin. So, multiply natin across 25 times 1 ay 25. Over 1 times 2 ay 2. And then, i-divide natin. Or, we have 25 divided by 2. That will give us 12 and 1 half. Or, kung allowed kayo yung gumamit ng decimal, that's 12.5. Okay? Okay? So, yung nawawalang number dito, kalahati ni 25 ay 12 and 1 half or 12.5. Okay? Minsan, finding patterns lang din. Kahit hindi nyo alam masyado yung solution, kung mapapansin nyo to, 100, susunod ay 50, kalahati ng 150, and then kalahati ng 50 ay 25. So, therefore, kunin nyo lang din yung kalahati ng 25, which is 12 and 1 half. Okay? Next, let's have number 3. So, we have here, negative 2, 12, blank, 432. Again, kunin natin yung common ratio. So, sa pagkuhan ng common ratio, i-divide yung pangalawa dun sa nauna. So, 12 divided by negative 2, that will give us negative 6. So, therefore, ang common ratio ay negative 6. Ano gagawin kay negative 6 tsaka kay 12 para makuha yung susunod? I-multiply natin. So, 12 times negative 6, that will give us negative 7, 2. Now, para malaman kung tama yung sagot natin, i-multiply natin si negative 72 kay negative 6. 432 ba ang lalabas? Yes. So, therefore, tama si negative 72. Okay? Next, number 4. We have negative 4, blank, negative 64, and negative 256. Again, first step, hanapin ang common ratio. Maghanap tayo ng dalawang magkasunod. Ito. And then, i-divide. Negative 256 divided by negative 64. 
negative divided by negative ay positive. And then, i-divide natin yung mga numbers. 256 divided by 64, that will give us 4. So, therefore, 4 ito. So, si negative 4 times the common ratio of 4, ito yung lalabas. And then, itong nawawala, times 4, ay negative 64. So, two ways. Pwede i-multiply si negative 4 by 4, or pwede i-divide si negative 64 by 4 para makuha to. So, we have negative 4 times 4. That will give me negative 16. Or, negative 64 divided by 4, still the answer is negative 16. Okay? Ganun lang kasimple. Let's have our last example. Given 32, 2, 1, 8. Again, first step, kunin ang common ratio. I-divide yung magkasunod. Divide yon o kaya ito. So, 2 divided by 32. Both of them can be divided by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 ay 1 over 32 divided by 2 ay 16. So, therefore, ang ratio natin ay 16. Dito sa kabila, double check lang natin. 1, 8 divided by 2. So, again, pag divide ng fraction, kopyahin ang unang fraction. Instead of dividing, ita times natin sa reciprocal ng denominator. Ang denominator ay whole number, which is understood to be over 1. Kapag inflip natin, binaliktad, magiging 1 half. Multiply across, 1 times 1 ay 1, over 8 times 2 ay 16. So, 1 over 16 talaga ang ating common ratio. Now, paano makukuha yung last number? So, si 1, 8 times the common ratio, which is 1 over 16. So, 1 over 8 times 1 over 16. Again, taas sa taas, 1 over baba sa baba. 16 times 8, that will give me 48, carry 4, 128. So, therefore, ang missing number natin ay 1 over 128. Okay? So, ganyan lang ang paghanap ng mga nawawalang numbers sa geometric sequence. So guys, kung natuto kayo sa aking video na to, kindly give me a like para share to ni YouTube sa iba. And also, if you are not yet a member of my community, I am requesting you to please subscribe. Pakilike na rin ang aking FB page. Gurong Tanay sa America by Teacher A para lagi kayo updated sa mga video lessons na gagawin ko. And pwede nyo kang i-PM doon sa aking FB page kung meron kayong gustong ipagawang video. Okay? That's it for today. See you in my next video. Paalam!